Hey everybody, it's Jill, Fiber Fuzzy Crafts. <laughs> it's been a morning already. I have been cleaning in the she shed and I wanted to show you guys kind of what the stuff is behind me back here. So grab a cup, let's have a little chat. I'll see you back in a second. Oh, yes, my boy. And this is Cerberus. He's our mascot. <laughs> of course, I'm down here sitting on the floor. So he has to come and visit me. Don't you? Yes. Can I have, can I have it? <laughs> He's a good boy. He may hit the camera. Oh, my. He's stretching. So I wanted to show you guys what is in these um, bins back here. This is, uh, careful Bubby. This is hand dyed yarn back here behind me. I, <laughs> you're very distracting. Yeah, you wanna play for a minute? Okay, we can play for a minute and come back, okay? Okay, I think he has settled for a minute. <laughs> so what I'm talking about is down here on the bottom in these three, I have projects. So let me show y'all. I thought you would enjoy seeing some of what is in here. Um, I just got this today. There'll be a video if you haven't seen it. It's coming out in the next couple of days. Starting over here on this side, this is the worsted weight yarn. This is worsted weight yarn going into DK weight yarn. This is mostly DK yarn and going into fingering. These two are the fingering. So if you want to see what's in these cubbies, you guys leave me a comment below and we can go through the cubbies and I can just sit down and we can just look at all of this goodness in here. So what is in here is, again, it is projects. So I do have an empty cube. Let me go grab that and I'll be right back. Now these cubes are out of my organizer cubes that I have in my hallway coming into the she shed. And I have them in two different colors. They have, they each have three cubes in them and I have two of them. And I emptied these not long ago but what I want to do is, in the hallway, I have some minis. And I want to put the minis, the hand-dyed yarn minis, in these and put, put them in here with the other hand-dyed yarns in the cubicles. So, that's what I'm going to do. But I need to take some stuff out of here and put it in these cubes. I'm not sure... I'm going to set this aside. Oh, I see it. Here's some more of that. I really need to put this in my closet. So I'm going to actually set these. I have my table behind me back here. I'm going to set this on the table so I can put them all in one bag. Because this is supposed to be a vest. It was the Marley Bird knit vest and I still want to make this. So they were there's like six of one and three of another. I'm not even really sure. 
Okay, there's this, which I got at McNeedles. These are hand-dyed cakes. And honestly, I had put these together to be a project, but I think they may wind up going in my shoe over the door shoe closets that I have on my wall. So they may go on the yarn wall. I'm not sure. It is hand dyed yarn. We're going to put it in there and see if there's room. This is socks. So this is a sock kit. It has, it's from Mustache Yarn. This was the colorway, I believe, that came from the Dallas Fort Worth Fiber Festival. That was the colorway for the festival. And then it has a mini with it. And these, she does her sock yarns to where they're going to be self striving. And if you do two at a time or you do one at a time, either or, your socks are going to match perfectly. So she dyes it in such a way that no matter where you start, whether it's one or two at a time, you're going to have matching socks. As long as you start, if you start from the center on one and you start from the center on the other. If you start from the outside on one and you start from the outside on the other, then you'll have matching. Otherwise, they won't. But if you start them at the same, then they'll be matching. And she's a Texas yarn dyer. This one is a kit that I got from the Toad Hollow. This is supposed to be mittens. This is the Hairy Toad. And this is the Sweater Toad. So it is a worsted with a mohair. And the pattern was free and it's the three stitch waffle mittens. I really want to make these for this next because it would be a small project. So we're gonna put that down in there. This is another set of the mustache yarn. This one is the Ralph Mouse that I'm going to do and read the books. Here's another mustache yarn. Now this, no, this was the colorway for the festival. I don't remember what the other one was. If you guys want me to show you a closer look at these, then I can at some point. But right now I'm just trying to get them moved. This one, this one is a project I am doing and this is the Toad Hollow Yarns in the minis. It was a mini set with a couple of others. That's a, a project. This is a project. This is Anchor Bay from Cascade Yarns. And this one, which is Go Tigers. So it is an LSU color, and this came from Lolo Did It. That's going to be a hat right there. So now this one is empty, and I can get minis and put it in there. So let me set it aside. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, now see, this needs to stay over here because this is mini yarns. This is a project, but really kind of want this one over here. So I'm going to leave it in there. What is this one? This I think is a gnome. Yes, this is the gnome kit from Mary Maxim. That's definitely a project. This is also a project, but it is still in Hanks. So I'm thinking it's going to go in here also. This is from McNeedles. It is Mrs. Crosby. Also New Orleans colorways. Got them in two, two hanks. They go together. 
think those might go right there. This is a kit that I have put together myself with three yarns that I want to do. This is a wonderful pattern. This is by Kristen Ashbal Helmrich, Helmrich for Jimmy Bean's Wool, and this was called the Uno Dos Tres Cowl. So here's the three colors. I think that's Malabrigo, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have a color on that one. I'm going to put that on there. That's definitely a project. This was given to me by our own Ola Jo here on YouTube. Ola Jo, the crocheting sailor. This is the one she gave me. This is the Those Who Wander kit with all of the Wander yarns from Furl's Crochet. So that's one that I really need to do. So there's another empty one. Okay, I'm going to put this one back here for the minute. Okay, let's see what's in this last one. Huh. These are definitely also projects. This is some felt. This needs to go somewhere else. That's going to go on the back of some things that I'm making. This is a kit. This is that Appalachian Baby kit that I got. We'll put that over here in that one. And this is all the kid stuff. This is stuff for... So this is going to be used to make where you can like a gripper so you take and you you cut this into a circle and then you crochet around the edges that goes over there these are all four things I'm making for kids so the idea behind these all of this stuff was for the I did the prototype for Solomon, which is that book, the open, and I need to work on making that more sturdy, but that's what these are for. So I'm going to set these on my desk over here. And then I have all the Sesame Streets, you guys. Yep. And the idea for them is for them to all be probably going to be hats. Uh, uh, uh. That's a really pretty color that goes with the with Ernie. Look at Ernie's color. That's real pretty. So that I have the count. I have Big Bird, Elmo. That's Ernie. The other one was Bert. Sorry, I said it wrong. There is Cookie Monster and Grover. I forget her name. Abby. Abby Cadabby and another Elmo. Okay. So these two can go over there and let me go get those minis. Still getting some help from Cerberus, you guys. Okay, so these are mini cakes. These are those ones that I was using for that Bonnie Bonnie Bay blanket. This is the bonbons. There's a little minis from these are Eco Fusion, and they're from Nurturing Fibers. So actually, I'm gonna put those in here. Those other ones. And then these are all miscellaneous, where I pull from here if I need a pop of color for something. But this one is the Toad Hollow. It is a kit for a cap. This is the Dobby hat. Toad Hollow. Lolo did it. 
Honey Bee Knits. This one is the Pride Rainbow from Lollipop Girl Yarns. This one is the Pride Rainbow Kit. I think this is Toad Hollow. This is Toad Hollow. These are called Burbs or Blurbs. I have the pattern for this Philosopher's Cowl. This is by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears. And I want to make that one with this kit, which is the Game of Thrones kit. We should do this together, you guys. That's from Chicken Coop Dye Works. All right, that one's empty. And these are all from Donna at Crystal Sky Hand Dyed. This is the ones I was doing the, the mystery kits. These are all those mystery kits. Okay. What do you guys do with the minis when you get them? Just wondering if you guys have an idea. Um, I do have a project in mind for the minis from Donna, the Hurley's hand dyed, Crystal Skies hand dyed. Definitely have a. I'm going to make a. What is that called? Oh, I had the pattern all printed out. Um, it's another one by Kay Jones. I believe it's called a burrow. Burrow blanket. I'm really not. Anyway, it's going to be like a blanket, so it's going to be strips. Of the color. Cerberus is down here. There he is. <laughs> don't hit the don't hit the camera, bud. So, you guys, thank you for joining me. Um, it's just a short little video. I just wanted you to see where I'm putting my hand dyed yarns. I do have hand dyed yarns over on the wall also. So this is what I meant right here behind me. This is um, hand dyed yarn in here and there's some over into this second one also. Um, yeah, so if you guys, if you guys wanna see a tour of that part of my wall, be sure and let me know. I also did wanna tell you that this hat, this is my paw hat pattern. So I will leave a link to that down below and I need to go through them. There's a few of them I've had for a while that I'm really not sure I'm going to use and that I need to put on my shop for a de-stash. So, look here. Okay. Say, say hello. <laughs> yeah, we got to go, don't we? Yeah, we got some stuff we got to do. So thank you guys for joining us and uh, I'll see you again soon. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you all very much. Have fun today. Say bye. <laughs>